John Pirich is one of them for sure, partner with Hannah McMiller and Cohn, and you are always in the middle of something intriguing and interesting, and you find yourself in one now that, that I never would have really expected, and maybe you never would have expected. Life's full of surprises. It is. Give us what we need to know about what will happen uh, with, the, with the marijuana issue. A ballot question committee was formed, uh, made the decision to look at the possibility of drafting an initiative, which the people have the right to do. Mm -hmm. Sufficient petitions are circulated. A petition will be submitted to the Board of Canvassers today, hopefully approved next week. Circulation will begin, and uh, hopefully within 100 to 110 days, uh, get up to 400,000 signatures. Do you know, can you uh, tell us the language off the top of your head? or is it, So when we're approached and asked to sign this petition, it's really just a couple of lines. It's simple, right? Actually, it's three pages. Yeah. Well, um, okay. But there is a synopsis uh, okay. in, in the title, and essentially what it would do was regulate marijuana for recreational use, the same way alcohol is regulated for recreational use. Mm -hmm. uh, there would be a board created much like the Gaming Control Board. There would be statutory authority for the legislature to implement the initiative so that they could appropriately regulate it, control it, tax it, and ensure that it would be used in compliance with the standards that the people would have approved. Okay, so very simply, we're, we're being asked if we sign this petition whether or not we want to legalize recreational marijuana. Correct. Yes or no? Yes or no. Okay. And uh, do you care which way it goes? Uh, uh, my, my role is to be the lawyer, not to be the uh, moral judgment in any of the matters that I've ever been involved in. I know some people think that's a cop-out, but the reality is it's no different than a legislator who drafts a bill or votes on a bill. Uh, they may vote yes on one for one reason to vote no on another for another reason. So I don't think it reflects any personal position. Your job is to make sure it's done fairly and accurately and the, 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 oh, you know, the language is approved, the signatures are legal, one way or another. And I don't get involved in the campaigns. Very interesting. How do you, what's your sense? I mean, you've been around a long time. The world is changing. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I, I have a son and grandchildren in Seattle and I've observed the recreational use of marijuana in the state of uh, Washington, it's uh, it's different than what you would have expected. Yeah. But I think most people understand that it's a uh, activity which has been engaged in for a long time. It certainly has not been regulated. It certainly has not been controlled, and it's certainly not been taxed. Would it be the same as alcohol? Then you have to be 21 years old. Uh, you can't drive while you're under the influence. Absolutely. How do we measure that? Uh, the same way you measure yeah. blood alcohol content. Okay. And uh, where would we buy it? Uh, there would be a system that would be created by the legislative implementation of the initiative that would regulate the production, the storage, growth, and sale. Hmm. Uh, can it be? I guess it could be grown. Uh, it can be grown under lights anywhere, right? That's Hydroponically, what I is that what that's I'm, called? I'm not. I'm not, in not an expert. To know, no. Okay, <laughs> but I mean, we're a big. St agriculture is one of our top two, top three industries in the state. The initiative would call for the creation of a five-member board. One of the criteria for being on the board would have agricultural expertise for at least one of the positions, uh, and it would be tested and it would be controlled. So, as I understand it, the levels of THC would not be rampantly different. It would oh, be I just see. like a prescription. I'll be darned. So we'd have our own Michigan strain, possibly. I, did, I Again, understand that's a possibility, but I don't know. Okay. Well, all right. Then they have how long? Uh, starting if uh, next week the Board of Canvassers approves the language? 180 days from the first date of petition of being gathered uh, until you turn them in. And the Board of Canvassers typically canvasses and reports on the sufficiency within 30 to 45 days. So hopefully right around the uh, November, early December period, we should probably have all of that part con concluded. Oh, so we won't get to vote on that until... Until November 19, uh, 2016, because right. it has to be on a general election ballot. Long lead, then. Yeah. Very long yeah. lead. Unusually long, isn't it? No. Uh, you, once, once the election cycle changes from 2014 to 2016, you know when the beginning of the, the cycle is, and you know when the end of the cycle is. So okay. can't go on any of these other ones. The, the prevailing wage, none of them can go on until November of 16. Okay. Well, it gives us something to talk about for a couple of years. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank Always you. great to see you. John Pirich, who will make his way back downstate today.